January 28, blessings upon the watchful ones. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Verily I say unto you that he shall gird himself and make them to sit down to meet and will come forth and serve them. Luke 12:37. God has always given men warning of coming judgments. Those who had faith in his message for their time and who acted out their faith in obedience to his commandments escaped the judgments that fell upon the disobedient and unbelieving. The word came to Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee have I seen righteous before me. Noah obeyed and was saved. The message came to Lot, Up, get you out of this place, for the Lord will destroy this city. Genesis 7, 1 and 9, 14. Lot placed himself under the guardianship of the heavenly messengers and was saved. So Christ's disciples were given warning of the destruction of Jerusalem. Those who watched for the sign of the coming ruin and fled from the city escaped the destruction. So now we are given warning of Christ's second coming and of the destruction to fall upon the world. Those who heed the warning will be saved. Because we know not the exact time of his coming, we are commanded to watch. Blessed are those servants whom the Lord, when he cometh, shall find watching. Luke 12:37. Those who watch for the Lord's coming are not waiting in idle expectancy. The expectation of Christ's coming is to make men fear the Lord and fear his judgments upon transgression. It is to awaken them to the great sin of rejecting his offers of mercy. Those who are watching for the Lord are purifying their souls by obedience to the truth. With vigilant watching they combine earnest working because they know that the Lord is at the door. Their zeal is quickened to cooperate with the divine intelligences in working for the salvation of souls. These are the faithful and wise servants who give to the Lord's household their portion of meat in due season, Luke 12:24. They are declaring the truth that is now specially applicable. As Enoch, Noah, Abraham, and Moses each declared the truth for his time, so will Christ's servants now give the special warning for their generation.